the U.S. military launched two warplanes into eastern Syria near the Iraqi border on the orders of President Biden, whose sources say chose the least lethal option, targeting a cluster of buildings used by Iranian-backed militias at a border control point, the same Iranian-linked militias believed to be responsible for the attack on a coalition base in Iraq early last week. We know what we hit, and we're confident that that target was being used by the same uh, Shia militia that, uh, that conducted the, the strikes. Those militia rocket strikes slamming into that coalition base in Erbil, Iraq, last week, where U.S. soldiers and contractors were housed. You can see those burned-out bunks, the fire destroying the structures. The same Iranian-backed militias have launched rocket attacks against the U.S. embassy in Baghdad and the so-called green zone surrounding it. An official telling ABC News that the retaliatory strikes by the U.S. could have resulted in a handful of casualties. The Pentagon spokesman saying that the strike was proportional and that President Biden will act to protect American and coalition personnel, but added, at the same time, we have acted in a deliberate manner that aims to de-escalate the overall situation. This retaliatory strike has gotten bipartisan support with the House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer calling it a strong act that will send a message to Tehran and Republican Senator Lindsey Graham saying he appreciates the Biden administration striking back at these Iranian-backed militias. The Biden administration says it consulted with coalition partners before launching the strike. We allowed uh, and encouraged the Iraqis to investigate and develop intelligence, and that was very helpful to us. Plus, uh, but in Moscow, the Russian foreign minister says the U.S. gave them just a few minutes of advance warning. Russia is a close ally of Syria and is condemning the attack. Uh, as a matter of domestic law, the president took this action pursuant to his Article II authority to defend U.S. personnel. The targets were chosen to score correspond to the recent attacks on facilities and to deter the risk of additional attacks over the coming weeks. As a matter of international law, the United States acted pursuant to its right of, of self-defense. As reflected in Article 51 of the UN Charter, the strikes were both necessary to address the threat and proportionate to the prior attacks. And I can assure you, and I spoke with the national security team, that there was a thorough legal process and review in advance. Tonight, U.S. officials confirm airstrikes on multiple sites in Syria linked to Iranian-backed militias. The Pentagon says the strike was carried out in response to recent rocket attacks on locations in Iraq where U.S. troops and personnel are located. It was the first military action ordered by President Biden. The Pentagon says he ordered the strike earlier Thursday and described it as a proportionate military response. The Defense Department said the operation sends an unambiguous message that the president will act to protect American coalition personnel. Citing the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, the AFP reported that 17 people were killed in the airstrike. Earlier, Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby said the U.S. action was a proportionate military response to protect American and coalition personnel and that the U.S. had acted in a deliberate manner aimed at de-escalating the overall situation in eastern Syria and Iraq. Kirby said the U.S. airstrikes has destroyed multiple facilities at a border control point used by a number of Iranian-backed militant groups, including Kataib Hezbollah, accused of carrying out numerous attacks targeting U.S. personnel and interests in Iraq in the past. The AP reported the airstrike did not appear to signal an intention to widen U.S. military involvement in the region, but rather to demonstrate a will to defend U.S. troops in Iraq.